Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Previously, we saw that we can generate high resolution AI images using a model like Flux that was not trained for that purpose. And the way that we achieve that is through special node called Lipe, which uses interpolation in order to allow models that was trained on low resolution images to produce good quality of images even at 4K resolution. So we have a new update for that node and it is now supporting Quen and Z Image Turbo model. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use this node and I will try to generate high resolution images with Z-Image Turbo model, compare its speed and performance to upscaling nodes to achieve the same resolution. And I will also show you how to increase the level of details while generating an image using detailed daemon nodes that this also receives new update for the Z-Image Turbo model. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. Okay, so basically in this tutorial, I will show you two workflow. The one for the dive that allows you to generate uh, high resolution images. And the second one is using detailed daemons that allows you to add detail to your image. So first, let's start with dive. If you use the link provided in the description, you can go to the GitHub page. And if you scroll down, you can clearly see that uh, we have the update for the coin image and the Z image turbo model in order to generate 4K resolution and beyond. Here we have some information about the type. It's a training free method that allows pre-trained uh, models to generate image resolution beyond their uh, training data, which is very good. Of course, you can see some example here. We have the notes here. It is named the uh, type. And here we have some example, Superman, using different uh, parameters of the note itself. And the best way to use it is by copying the code, go to your comfy Y root folder, Enter custom nodes, here type in cmd, then type in git clone, paste your code here. Just click enter, it's all you need to do. We don't need the necessary model or downloading anything else. After that, you can use directly my workflow, or you can also see the example workflow provided by the nodes. Here we have different uh, workflow. We have uh, one for the Quen, the flux that we already saw. We also have the Nushako version of this dive for flux. And we have the Z-Image Turbo model that we're gonna see uh, just now. All you have to do is drag and drop it here, or you can use directly my workflow, which is simplified one or two. Okay, the first step is gonna be loading the model. I'm pretty sure that uh, all of you now uh, know how to use the Z-Image Turbo model, since we have the Diffusion model or uh, the GGWF version. We have also this Coin3 uh, Coin four billion parameters uh, text encoder. Make sure to set the device to CPU. For the VAE, we have the Flux 1 VAE. And if you don't know uh, anything about the Z-Image Turbo, I strongly suggest you to watch my previous tutorial about that model, where you can see the limits and application of this model. Okay, for the resolution, you can clearly see that is set here to 2K. And then we have the type uh, nodes for uh, Z image turbo. It is directly connected to the model here. So uh, if you take a closer look here, you can clearly see that I am using this base model in order to generate the high resolution images. So it is a uh, very simple and efficient nodes, which only allows you to achieve good results by simply uh, adding these nodes. Then we have here this model sampling aura for the Z image turbo, the text encoder in order to use the prompt. We have a simple key sampler and the results of our generation. It is, as you can see, it is a simple workflow, but it allows you to generate a good quality of images. Okay, now let's zoom in on the parameters here. We have uh, first this uh, latent image of our generation. For the type nodes, we also have uh, some resolution and make sure to use the same resolution in the latent and in the type node. The model type is set to automatically as default. Make sure to select the Z image turbo. For the method, we have different methods. We have the base, the yarn, the vision yarn, the NTK. And in order for you to get uh, more information about this uh, method, you can read this uh, notes here, where you can see that uh, the vision yarn works best for uh, 4K resolution and beyond, because we have some stretching that can be created using the generation and uh, some artifacts that can also came across. The yarn uh, NTK, it's a legacy mode, which can also be used with this uh, old scaling for this uh, yarn old scaling uh, that can be enabled here. And uh, the most important parameters here is the type exponent which uh, depends on the resolution of your images. If you are using uh, 2K resolution, the best value is set to 1. For the 1.5 resolution, it is set to 0.5. And for 4K and beyond, you can make sure to use the value of 2. Okay, here we have some uh, link related to the creator of uh, this node. Make sure to visit it if you want. 
but for all other parameters make sure to use the default value so now let's talk uh, more about this method you go back to their github page you can clearly see that the method influence uh, the quality and the color of the image here we have the vision yarn the yarn anisotropic and the ntk it is the same prompt the same images however the aesthetic looks uh, practically different you can clearly see that uh, there is some stretching while generating high quality images and you can uh, fix that by using the right method i also experienced that during my generation and i found that using the base method with the anisotropic uh, filter uh, activated works the best as for the key sampler we have here steps of nine since we are using the turbo version of this model cfg is set to one but for the sampler we are using the res multi-step and the simple scheduler okay now let's click uh, run and we will see the quality of the results and we will try to compare it together okay the first thing that i want to show you is that i tried to generate 3k resolution image while bypassing this dive nodes in order for you to understand uh, why this uh, node is important for a high resolution image generation to do that i use a simple prompt and you can clearly see the results that i am getting with the z image turbo it cannot generate uh, consistent and good quality of images using this resolution it is set to 3k i could not uh, try with 4k since i have a low vram graphic card however you can clearly see the, the results uh, that i am getting here it is blurry and uh, we have some a uh, lot of artifacts so uh, the model cannot generate high resolution images since it is not trained for that purpose but here we have uh, results using the dive note it is not very uh, good or uh, stunning at the exception of uh, some composition issue here this image uh, has uh, some friction problems and it is uh, mainly due to the, uh, the method used here I was working with the vision yarn and it did not give me a good result at that resolution so you need to, to pay attention to that in order to generate a good quality of image with the good uh, composition you need to pay attention to the method and the resolution however when i change that to base you can clearly see the good result that i am getting here we have a good composition the man is looking very good as for the, the whole image's uh, details are also very impressive if we zoom in you can clearly see the, the level of details that we are getting here and it is very impressive here we have other example the, this woman looks uh, we are getting a good consistent image without any artifacts however when i try to generate uh, this woman with the same prompt and the same resolution you, with different method i managed to get this uh, results it is not very good and i still saw that we are having some stretching here here the same results type notes you can clearly see the the main difference is it is trying to do some out painting here at the exception of this one where i asked for a close-up uh, image or portrait prompt it really give me the what i want and using this base method i try to generate different uh, portrait uh, images like this uh, lady here looking at the window this uh, uh, blonde uh, woman but also i tried different prompt style in order to see if we can manage to generate uh, 3k resolution images with the different uh, prompt and style here we have a good uh, resolution images and uh, we don't have any artifact all the images looks good at the exception of this one and uh, if you encounter this type of result make sure to change the method and try again okay now that we have finished with the type uh, workflow let's jump to the detailed demos and i will try to test it for you but before doing that all you have to need first is to install the node we will do the same way as we did with the type just copy the code go to comfy UI road folder enter custom notes here type in cmd and we will type in again get clone paste your our code here we will click enter and it will do everything automatically once it is done let's go back to comfy UI. make sure to restart it in order for comfy UI to recognize the notes and let's get started once you have everything installed you should have the same interface as me here okay it is uh, some kind of messy here but i will try to explain it to you this detailed dmo notes allows you the level of details of your generated images using the same cfg the same steps and the same resolution and this works uh, by adjusting the sigma value the parameter responsible for image detail enhancement and it will fix the unwanted artifact and the background blurry images by reducing the noise level now it is a mathematical uh, 
approach that allows you to get a better results while generating your images. I will try to show you my results and you will be uh, astonished by the quality of details that can add uh, using this method. But first, let's take a closer look at workflow. Here I provided all my prompt used during uh, those tutorials. But first thing, uh, first is uh, try to load your model. You can use the GGOF or the BF16. Here we have uh, the model sampling aura with the shift value of five. And we still have the same load clip VAE and empty latent. Okay, for the clip text encode, I am using directly the CR prompt list, which allows me to generate multiple images using a series of prompt. Here I have a series of prompt with uh, different uh, that was extracted from different images. And with this note, it will allow me to generate uh, multiple results with simple uh, run. Okay, let's enable uh, this one. Here we have two samplers. The first uh, samplers uh, group is uh, without uh, this detail demons in order for you to see the comparison between the results. As you can see here, we are using the same model, the same positive and negative prompt, and the same late. The steps is set to eight. The CFG set to one, the sampler uh, we are using a Euler with a simple scheduler. However, for the second uh, key sampler, we are using low uh, steps. CFG is set to one and, and the denoise value is set to 0 0.05. Second uh, step is for adding more details uh, to your images. And we will see that uh, later on. So once it is done, this uh, VAE decode gonna save our results. And uh, we did it for the only purpose of comparison. Next, we have uh, our second key sampler here, and you can clearly see that it is uh, using a sampler custom advanced node for uh, generating the first image. Then this one is going to be decoded and a high resolution fix is going to be used again using a denoise value of 0 0.05, steps of 2 and CFG of 1. However, the exception here is uh, that we have this detailed daemon sampler nodes that allows us to add the, the details to, to our images. And we also have this details daemon graph sigma, which only show you uh, the graph of uh, the sigma value and the interpolation that can do while generating uh, our images. It is not very important. You can uh, only focus on this uh, daemon sampler here, where uh, you will get uh, most of the job done. And since we are using a sampler custom advanced, we have this random noise uh, nodes, this basic scheduler, it is set to simple 2, the steps is set to 8, and the denoise value is set to 1. We are also using a Euler as a sampler. And here we have this CFG guider, which will uh, combine the model and all the text encoders. I set here this image compare node in order to compare between the two results. And we also have a save image for details DMON and save image for uh, normal generation using this first key sampler. Okay, now let's try test this workflow and we will compare the results together. Okay, I did my first test here using this prompt with the described a young woman portrait and I managed to get this results. Here you can clearly see that we have a good quality of image generated with Z image turbo. However, if you take a closer look here, we have the detailed demons version and the quality of details increased dramatically compared to the previous one. And the best way to see that is using this image compare notes, where you can clearly see that it adds some uh, details on the shadow of uh, over the lady. It also deblurred the background here, as you can see, we have some uh, deblurring effect which uh, I really liked since most of uh, model for image generation try to blur the background in order to make uh, the subject looks more uh, impressive and uh, more uh, stunning. And you can also observe the same thing here on the hair, on the clothes too. We have some details enhancement and the images looks uh, much uh, better. At the exception of this uh, green dot here, I don't know where it comes from. But you can try to generate a new image or try to ch change the seed. As you can see here, we, I am using a fixed seed. You can try the same prompt with different seed. It will help you out to remove this uh, green dot here. We also have some parameters uh, for the details demon sampler. Here we have the details uh, amount. We, I did not found any instruction about that, but uh, you can try to play with uh, this value in order to get uh, different results. For other parameters, I strongly suggest you to leave it as default one. Now let's see the results of my other prompt list and we will try to compare this together. Here I have another uh, version of uh, portrait uh, style. You can clearly see the quality of uh, this image even after this low resolution. We have uh, quite good details. 
the background doesn't look so blurry and the color uh, of this image looks also very good the same goes for all other images you can clearly see the that we have an increase in quality the image looks more sharper and we have more interesting details the background doesn't look so blurry for most uh, of my images and the composition looks very good i tried different style with different type of prompt like for example here we have this uh, text uh, rendering and you can clearly see that it uh, can also generate a good text uh, quality with a good image however for this example where it is included that this old lady has a tattoo it managed to exaggerate uh, upon the tattoo on the her skin but for the background it, it did a really good job as for the skin uh, and the quality of uh, the images it is also looking very good and to see that you can clearly see the normal version without the details dim on uh, notes the background looks uh, so much blurry the tattoo uh, here looks very good it is not exaggerating and the skins and details looks also very acceptable so if you want to uh, decrease uh, the level of details generated uh, using this detail demon you can try to play with this details amount of value maybe reduce to 1.5 or 1.8 and compare the results as for the double key sample method it allows you to add more details and fine tune your results it will not take too much time since it is uh, denoising the results only with the low uh, value of 0.05 and it is also using uh, low steps so you don't need to bother yourself too much with this okay as for the type notes here i, I try to compare the generation time uh, with the ultimate sd upscale I managed to generate the high resolution images in short amount of time Compared to the ultimate SD upscale, the results was practically the same. The ultimate uh, SD upscale takes uh, longer compared to this type notes, uh, and the quality looks practically slightly better compared to this type. However, the type notes also uh, generated good quality results in a short amount of time compared to the upscaling process, where it managed to get uh, 30% faster with all my tests. So, if you don't want to upscale your images, I strongly suggest you to use this type. And if you also want to add some details to your uh, images with the lower resolution, you can try to use this detail demon uh, notes too. It will give you a good result. Then you can always upscale it using uh, Ultimate SD Upscale. And uh, one more tip that I, I can show you is uh, using the GGUF uh, model while uh, using the Ultimate SD Upscale because it uh, uses less VRAM compared to the bf16 so you will also uh, gain some uh, boost during the time generated okay that's it for today tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel leave me some comments down below and don't forget to become a patreon member of my patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow so thank you